how can I make sure that my code is following the good practice of code design that I define it inside my architecture perspective? With this, of course, today let's talk about Arc Unity, an efficient way to test my code design in my architecture inside my code. Hey, my name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel, the channel for you who wants to become an ultimate engineer or a person who wants to achieve the ultimate stage of software sophistication inside your organization, exploring the best practice in the open source world. So, if you want to know more around Java, code design, architecture, NoSQL, and so on, please subscribe on my channel. The main idea to have ArcUnit is to make sure that your code designing is following the desirable architecture or code style inside your Java project, okay? Uh, right now, I do have my PON XML file where I put my Maven or my Java dependencies here. I have my favorite test uh, stack here, as I mentioned before, and uh, JUnit Jupyter, uh, Mokito, the integration between Mokito and JUnit Jupyter, and SSJ as you know, to have an amazing uh, test. I have here below my ArcUnit test, and I also have the JMolecules dependence. If you are not familiar with JMolecules, it is a couple of annotations to define the design in the architecture perspectives inside the code. Okay, let's start. My first step here is to create two simple entities. Okay, I will come here. I will create first uh, my book entity where this one will have my string title, my uh, string description, and I will also provide my ID, so private uh, string ESPN. Uh, as I mentioned before, right now I'm using JMolecules to define my configurations around my architecture here. So I will define this one here as an entity. I will define ESBN as my identity or my ID. I will also create a magazine where magazine entity where this one I will do a little bit different. So I will use a record here. So I have my ID, my uh, magazine name, and also the, the edition and the year. Okay, the year of release here. So I will come here. Right now I have two entities. I will come here. I will define as those entities. Right now I want to test my architecture or my code design. Of course, it is a brief idea about what can I do. But for example, right now I have two entities annotations and give that I want to use JPA and JPA does not provide support to records. I need to make sure inside my architecture there is no records inside. So what can I do? I came here, 
I will create my first architecture test where my first one you be public void should not have records as entity or you do have a convention that okay record is only to value object because all my entity must be multiple and that's fine as well i will create my java classes as you can see this belongs to arc unit imported class i will start my class file importer here i will import class from this package yeah you where you can use uh, the string name i usually prefer to use the the package name here okay but you are free to do whatever you want and then let's create our first archi rule where my rule is based on my arc rule definition that my classes okay that are annotated that are that are annotated with entity entity um, as you can see should not be a record and that's exactly what i did so i take my rule i check my java classes right now what i do have here i have my imported classes where i took my package name so in this case expert.os.videos.demo i created my rule definition on this case i will check classes that are annotated with entity that belongs to j molecule to finally this one should not be a record let's run and see what's going on right now. So it's run, it has an issue. As you can see, my magazine is a record and should not be an entity. So to make it pass, I have two ways. I can remove the entity annotation here or convert this one to a class that is not a record uh, let's run again this way it will pass okay right now it's passed because the entity that i do have as you can see is not a record okay right now we do have the empty pass but usually when we define package we want to keep the empty belonging to the domain instead of any kind of infrastructure package or any kind of internal implementation what we can do right now so i will create a package where the name is infrastructure that I'm doing here, as you can see. Uh, so it is a bug, right? So what can I do? I will come here, create a new test because my entities should not belong to infrastructure code. So void should not have entity infrastructure. So I come here, I will use the power of copy paste. 
I will take here again the power of copy and paste. On this case, instead of use classes, I will say okay, no one should be there. So none, no classes that are annotated with empty should reside in a package where the name is infrastructure exactly like this so and let's run it as so otherwise I'm failing in encapsulation right my entity should not be any kind of thing like infrastructure it is loading so right now it returned an issue because my book entity reside in a package that has infrastructure what can i do i should move this one outside infrastructure like i'm doing right now and let's run the test so basically with Archie Unity, I can find several, several uh, validations around my code sign and also my architectural perspective. And if you wish, you can combine that with JMolecule, where there are several uh, annotations, several plugins. On this case, we are only using the DDD one. Hopefully you've enjoyed and please put your thoughts here. What do you think about Archi Unity? Is a good way to define architecture inside your code? Is a good way to define design rules inside your code? If not, what do you put instead? Thank you and see you soon.